hello guys in this video I am going to demonstrate you how we can use user defined table type in SQL server so here you can see here it is the first step what we need to follow so, so the first step is we must need to create user defined table type and to create that table we must need to execute this query so you can see here it is create type and here udt underscore employee is the type name okay and it is as a table type and this table type will have all these property like id of type int name type where care email phone and department so this is the first step and what we need to do now let's move to sql server to execute this query so i have written here the query and before executing that I have also created one table here so let me show you the its type of the table here you can see the table is having five properties or five columns as we have taken in this these columns are same what we have taken here in the in the user defined table type so i have already created this table here okay so what we will do now i will go ahead and create the table type so it is this is basically the created thing is table this is not a, not a table type so now i am going to create a table type here so i will copy this from here and then I will go to SQL query here so here I will paste it okay so now there is no type right here you can see this is the type section here and let me refresh this so there are no table type like user defined table type is empty here okay this is only one table available here in the database I will there is no procedure right now table type so now it is created here and let me refresh this thing okay and now here you can see I have got the type created with the same name udt underscore employee so now let me remove this I have already done this create so now let's move to the next slide what we need to do now so the next thing is here here we need to use that table type inside a procedure so this process is going is going to be for inserting the data into the database table so i have written the same query here in the notepad and i am going to copy it i will also attach this notepad in the description that uh, means I, I will i will put a link in the description for this ta uh, this notepad okay so now let's move to move again in the SQL Server Management Studio and here I have paste it here. So here this is the procedure which I am going to create and this is going to be the name of the procedure that will be usp underscore add amp. So now let me execute this here. So now procedure is also created and now let me refresh this the procedure section here. Here you can see the stored procedure is also created here in the list. Okay, so now let me also remove this. So the now the next task is to create a procedure again to update the data. So again, let's move to the notepad and let me copy this here. This is the SQL query. So I am going to use this procedure for updating the data what is available inside a table within the table. So I will go ahead and hit the execute button. So here you can see that this is also executed and here this you can also find here so after refreshing you can see this procedure as well. Here you can see we, the update EMP procedure is also here in the list so in the same way the next table so in the next procedure is to delete the data so again I will go ahead in the notepad and I will 
copy the SQL query for deleting for, for to create a procedure which can be used to delete the data. So I have I am going to paste it the new delete procedure now. So here you can see let me execute it as well. So this procedure is also done. Okay. So now what we need the next task here is that we need to insert the data into the user defined table type. So before inserting the table like the inserting the bulk data inside the table because we are using user defined table type is for inserting or updating or deleting the bulk amount of data. Okay. So the main purpose is here to do it for inserting the bulk amount of data having like having their different different IDs. Okay. So here I am going to do that using the user defined table type. So let me go ahead and copy this insert queries. So here you can see let me let, I, I will I will elaborate about this. So let me first remove this here and here you can see the first thing what I have done here I have created an a variable here for the table type what I have done I have done creating okay I have created so here you can see it is insert into EMP so this is the EMP as a, it is a variable of that you have defined table, table type and inside that table type I am going to insert all these data this is this is going to be the first row and then this is going to be the second row and then this is going to be the third row and in the same way this is going to the fourth row okay so let me go ahead and but before doing this i would like to do one more thing because all things need to be synchronized so now the next task is here to execute the stored procedure so here you can see these stored procedure are taking the user defined table type as a parameter okay so here let me go ahead here so let me again copy this okay so this is the procedure okay so now let me let me define you some Thing about the procedure so here you can see all the procedures are taking udt underscore employ and this should be read only because we are taking user defined table type as a parameter or this must be read only parameter okay otherwise it will throw error okay so this must be a user defined table type and this should be read only so in all these procedures you can see the udt underscore employee is the read only okay and it is taken as a parameter in the procedure so now let's move ahead in the SQL server so here you can see the first thing what I am going to do I am going to execute this procedure for inserting the data because this procedure is related to insert okay and this procedure is related to let me remove also this okay and this procedure is related to update data and this procedure is related to delete the data okay so let me move it at the top of delete okay so now the first thing what we will do we will insert it insert the data inside the table okay to do that let me close this thing first and I am going to execute this command first so that we can check what is available inside the table okay so I have selected selected this query and let me execute this so you can see the table is right now completely empty so I am going to insert all these rows or all these data at once using the user defined table type so let me go ahead and execute this so you can see four rows affected and let me now execute this select command so you can see we are you can see here we are having all four rows inserted inside our table the test table right and now in the same way I am going to update the 
update the rows here so let me let me change something here let me change the phone number and now i am going to put 880 okay so 4 and 4 8 and now this is 10 and again let me change this from 9 to 8 i will going i will change this as well from 9 to 7 and this from 9 to 6 i am going to change the department as well so that we can verify it proper let me change it as well from admin to hr and this as well from it to admin okay and so that's it so now i am going to execute this procedure right so i am going to insert sorry update the data now so again the emp will be same okay again the same thing is going to do going to happen like now again i am going to insert the data inside the table type variable first and then i will go ahead to execute the procedure okay for updating the data okay so this uh, usp underscore update emp is the procedure to update the data so again now let me click execute and after uh, like execution of update command you can see the changed phone numbers as well as the department okay so let me go ahead and here you can see let me again select this so you can see here the first is it second in h is hr now and third is admin now and in the same here you can see here phone number as well all the phone numbers are changed okay so like this you can update the data like bulk data at once and in the same way if you want to delete then let me copy this store procedure here so this can be used for deleting the data so again let me select all and i have clicked on delete and now let me select the the run execute the select query okay so here you can see there is no data available now inside the table so like this you can uh, like create a user defined table type to bulk insert of data bulk delete of data or bulk update some of any data inside the table so that's all guys okay in this video okay so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel and i will also uh, like add the notepad in the description the link for the notepad in the description okay thanks guys